Hi guys, welcome back to Kingery Claudia. So I am about to make dinner and I decided to film for you guys. I am making chicken piccata with some asparagus. Chicken piccata is like one of my favorite chicken recipes. It's so good. I also made some mashed potatoes on the side. This dinner is going to be really good. I just wanted to show you what I am making for my family just to give you some dinner inspiration. You guys will love this recipe, so let's get started. So I'm making mashed potatoes with the chicken piccata. So I'm boiling some potatoes. I'm going to cover it up and let them cook for about 20 minutes. I have three large chicken breasts here and I purchased these pre-packaged. I'm going to use my meat pounder to pound into the chicken. Pounding the chicken is going to make them extremely tender and they'll also cook more evenly. By the way, my kids are playing in the background, so I apologize for all the noise. So I took the pounded chicken out of the package. I'm going to season them with this onion salt. It's a mixture of onion powder, salt, and a whole bunch of herbs. I'm going to go ahead and season the chicken on both sides. Turn them over. Pack the seasoning into the chicken. So I'm going to set my chicken aside for later. Next, you're going to grab some all-purpose flour. I just like to season the flour with a little bit of my onion salt. And then you're going to grab your chicken and cut both sides in the flour. You want to make sure you have your pan heated up over medium heat and you're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in your pan so you want to make sure your pan gets really really hot and then you're going to grab your chicken and sear the chicken i like to do two chicken breasts at a time you don't want to overcrowd your pan so i'm going to sear the chicken for three to four minutes on each side you want the chicken to get nice and golden brown. That is looking gorgeous. Once the other side has cooked, I'm going to go ahead and transfer the chicken onto a separate plate. I'm going to sear the third chicken breast and add that to the rest of the chicken. All right, our chicken is looking good. We're just going to set these aside for later, then we're going to work on the sauce. So I went ahead and cleaned out my pan. I'm going to add two tablespoons of capers and make sure you rinse out your capers because they're kind of salty. I'm going to cook the capers for about a minute Make sure you use your spoon to crush the capers like that. That way their flavor can really get into the sauce. I just added some chicken broth. Sometimes I like to add white wine to the sauce, but I don't have any today. I am also adding the juice of one whole lemon. I will leave all the measurements in the description box, so make sure you check it, okay? I'm adding 4 tablespoons of cold butter and I'm going to let the butter melt into the sauce and as soon as the butter has melted, I'm going to add the chicken. So now I'm just going to let the chicken cook in the sauce for about 5 minutes. I'm cooking on medium heat and I'm basting the chicken the entire time. Okay, so while my chicken is cooking for 5 minutes, I'm going to start working on my asparagus. I have washed and dried my asparagus. Okay, make sure you clean your food. I'm drizzling about a tablespoon of olive oil onto my asparagus and then I'm going to season it with some of my onion salt. 
I'm gonna toss everything together. I already have my oven preheated at 375 Fahrenheit. I'm going to roast these for 10 to 15 minutes. Here are my asparagus. They look and smell so good. I already went ahead and plated my chicken piccata. I'm going to drizzle the sauce all over my chicken. I'm going to add my asparagus and this yumminess is ready for the table. It looks and smells so good. I'm going to keep this warm while I quickly go and make my mashed potatoes. So the potatoes are already cooked. I'm just mashing them up. I'm adding some very hot milk and melted butter. I'm also going to add a little bit of sour cream. And some of this onion salt. I love this onion salt, as you guys can tell. I put it on everything. All right, so I am just putting a little bit in. I'm gonna mash it up some more. You can add more salt if you want, but I think the salt is enough for me. Give it a quick stir and that's it. Easy mashed potatoes. Time to plate it up and eat. I'm starving. Look at all that yumminess. Mm. Oh, you know what? I forgot my sauce. Where is it? All right, put some sauce on it and it's ready to be devoured. Ali, how's your food? Huh? Do you like it? Yeah? Yummy. How do you like it, babe? Stop. Babe, just answer. You look fine. No. How do you like it? Stop. How do you like Stop. it? <laughs> Is it good? Yes, uh, it's fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy. Mommy, Daddy. Mommy, Daddy. Mommy, Daddy. Mommy, Daddy. 